Good morning, folks. Higher taxes, fewer benefits. Let's see how the Spanish people respond. Many of you saw this yesterday. They found another moon alongside Pluto. This article is a little different, but I think it is somewhat interesting, helpful, and semi-relevant to our discussions. The Philippines are dealing with widespread red tide in their fishing community. For the first time ever, chronic wasting disease is affecting Texas livestock. Earthquake activity is rising fast. We began yesterday off the American subduction zone, middle of the day. Shortly after, a 4.4 polar region quake happened way up north. Peru saw a moderate quake as well. South of Australia was rocking along with the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This morning, the moderate-sized tremors near Central America are continuing along with the Northeast Caribbean active as well. Even though we are in a fast coronal hole stream, the density has been low without major disturbance, but that changed around 2100 UTC. You can also see that another way here on the Rio meter where the red passes the blue near that same time, indicating ionospheric absorption of solar plasma. You can see the yellow steady and high, that's the coronal hole stream, above it the orange, it's the solar wind density and it rises right at that same time as the ionospheric bombardment began. Magnetosphere torqued a bit as well, we got the BX and BZ showing temporal variation. The earth footprint is not in any danger right now, but this changes multiple times today, might want to keep an eye on it. We want it to avoid this massive active region sleeping with a gun under her pillow. No M flares yesterday, she's quiet right now, but that delta spot endures and she can wake up any time. Now we're waiting for a big flare, but you might have noticed something happening above that sunspot. This is why we watch plasma filaments. It was a double eruption. First you're going to see the top part go, then the right side appears to rip off right at Earth. Luckily it does appear to be small. We'll see if she hits us in two to three days. Lots to watch for. Eyes open folks, that's the news. Be safe.